Brian Diaz from Active Edge Fitness and Sports Performance, and today we're going to demonstrate the kettlebell push-up into the squat. You need two kettlebells. You can also do this with dumbbells. Uh, it's just you'll need the handle to be elevated enough off the ground, so you'll probably at least need an eight to ten pound dumbbell. But it's easiest with the kettlebells because they're already elevated and in position to step through into your squat. Males, I'm using you know the 35 pound. Um, version, which I think is 16 kilograms, which is a one pood for the Russian uh, system. And, or you can go all the way up to one and a half pood, you know, 53 pound uh, for males. So make sure you got two equally. For females, maybe a little bit lighter. Some females could probably actually do the one pood or, or the 35 pound, but maybe choose a, somewhere in the, in the eight kilogram to, to 12 kilogram range. So start with the push up. Hands are on the handles. You're going to come straight down. You want the, the kettlebells just wide enough and you can step through and then come up into your squat. Okay? The, the only kind of key form here is that when you come up into the squat, don't arch or, or round out that back. You know, Keep that butt tucked in when you stand on up. Okay? So you're really sitting back and pushing with the legs and not getting the back involved at all. Okay, so again, you're going to go push up, step through, sit back down, and then lift up into the squat. And the hands never leave contact with the kettlebell. So you just go back and forth, hands never leave in contact with the kettlebell. And you can alternate the stepping leg that steps forward if you want to to keep it kind of regular. That's a kettlebell push-up into a squat.